So you've updated the 10.3. Yes, yes. This is uh, our latest product released now in the HKTBC Autumn Edition 2019. This is the new Books Note 2. And now it has a fingerprint sensor right here, right? Yeah, it has a fingerprint recognition here to unblock the device very securely. Very fast. Nice, because you want to protect all your documents, all your work. Of course, I mean, users need to have the, the possibility of have a secure device that if it gets stolen, they don't get any specific information they may have. Is here. really encrypted the data? Yeah. So even the person who will steal it, there's no chance they can see the documents. No, if if they if they put it here, it need to unblock. Still need to unblock to yeah. connect to computers. Yes, yes. So it's encrypted data. Uh, so all the notes you're taking around here about all your secret business plans, you can uh, you can say um, uh, I want to rule the world or yeah. something like this, yeah. <laughs> and you hide it. <laughs> yeah. You don't want everybody to know. Exactly, so this is one of our latest features for the Note 2. Uh, for the ones you already know, the Max 3, this guy here, uh, this is the 10.3 the using... Can you hold this? Yeah, sure. Are you holding? Yeah, yeah, hold it. And uh, let's, let's, let me just change the... So how do you change the front light here? Okay, here, right here, yeah. And let's turn it down. Uh, so now they're both without the front light. 10.3 inch and this is 13.3 yes the max 3 and Note 2 next generation of their sizes max 3 was was released in IFA Berlin early September and uh, the, this one October and it's um it's the same platform now it's an octa core arm cortex a53 64 bit yeah. Qualcomm. <laughs> yeah right? yeah exactly the whole thing. exactly you said it better than me okay yeah <laughs> so um that means it's a powerful, speedy, long battery. This uh, this solution makes the device run much faster. Uh, in order to be an e-ink based uh, product, uh, it runs faster and is is even more energy efficient than before. Uh, besides, we have increased the battery uh, in uh, 4,300. I mean, we have increased it 200 milliampers more now with 4,300 milliampers battery. So how long battery life do you have? We how long can you use this? I mean, uh, if you're using the device, as always, six to eight hours per day. I mean, we always keep like between six to 10 days. I would say six to 10 days using it regularly and setting up the configuration of the device appro appropriately, like uh, uh, and, uh, turning off Wi-Fi after several minutes if you are not using it or going to sleep mode after several minutes if you are not using it. This type of configuration will help to use a device for longer time before you charge it. Yeah. So, like uh, two weeks? One month? As I, as I said, if using it every day, about six to ten days, maybe with these 200 milliampers uh, more, you can get a little bit more of battery. But uh, I would say these, uh, six to ten days for sure, for sure. Nice. Maybe later if you don't use it six to eight hours per day, because not everyone is going to use it that long, uh, then you can even have it maybe half month. I think one of the challenges probably also is what's happening right here with the Wi-Fi. So when you have Wi-Fi turned on or the Bluetooth also, it's important to have a chipset that's very energy efficient, so yes. you don't use too much power. Yes. Yeah, so for that reason, uh, the Qualcomm is one of the one of the these possibilities provides us this possibility to be energy efficient and to run the device for a longer time. Qualcomm basically invented Wi-Fi, kind of, or something like that. Right? They, they're really expert in keeping the power low when yes. you do this kind of stuff. Because uh, let's say you want to sync, um, which you still have over here. Yeah to sync, the, to bind the device with one of these accounts, Evernote, Dropbox, or, or OneNote. So when you sync right here, it's going over Wi-Fi, so you want to have long battery life while you sync. Yeah, exactly. So that's that's one of the purpose. And now we are using Wi-Fi 5, 5G. It's 5 gigahertz, so Five gigahertz, even better connection. Yeah, better connection. Uh, yeah, better connectivity with uh, different networks. Because uh, those e-books e and uh, documents that you want to sync, 
it's small data, but you want to be optimal, so you don't want to use the whole battery in one day. There's no point in having e ink device if it's only one day battery. Of course, of course. That that is the, what would be our difference uh, against LT tablets if yeah. uh, if not the, the battery is one of our main uh, differences, and we keep improving that in our devices. So what happened since IFA? IFA was only one month ago, but what happened? So do you have even more stuff happening in the software already? Um, not with software exactly. I mean, we improve our devices. The the may probably if there is some bug or if there is uh, some new features coming on, it will be constantly improved. Because one it's really shipping, right? Yeah, this one Max Three is. We are already selling it um, in our bookshop and in Amazon. And uh, of course, of course, this one this one will be released in November. The Note Two. November, yeah, around November, you will be able to, to buy it. Uh, so that means you're still finalizing the last few things about the software. And yeah, for, for example, this is a, a sample, working sample, but the back is, is black color. The, the mass production one will be dark gray. It's so slightly dark. different. Yeah, slightly dark gray. Different. It has the two, the two speakers on the back for listening to music. Nice. And uh, here I have a the Type C. It has also it supports also OTG standard, the same as Mac 3. So you can keyboard. plug and play keyboards, mouse, or even a TF card reader without the need of any driver. Yes. You have a, a, on the bottom. You have a, the the mic for the voice recognition to convert it into digital text. You have several options. This also the Max 3 to turn. Rotate. Build it all. Yeah. Rotate the screen. Let's do it upwards. Yeah. Let's go back. I mean, we build our own. Let's go back to the initial camera products. Nice. So you can rotate it. You can rotate it. What did you not show in my previous videos? What's For other cool example, stuff? For example, you have another way to protect your notes. As before, we were saying to, to block the device and to unblock it with fingerprint recognition. We have the chance to block the notes. So you can, each specific yeah, one. Yeah, I mean, each specific one you can use fingerprint or use a separate numeric password to, to block it. So every time you want to open that... Click on the use fingerprint. But then it needs to be your finger or something, right? And that's it, you just clicked and uh, now it's protected. Now it's protected. And you don't even see the thumbnail. Cool. That's really nice. So you can unlock the whole device, but also every, every actually you block, item. Actually, you block all the notes. Ah, you block all the notes. So once you do this, it just everyone. And now you unlocked it, all of them, or just one at a time. Just, just one. All right. I think it's very important functionality. It's very good. You have very cool. You have this stuff working. Yeah. Um, maybe I show you also the possibility when you when you read some text. Okay, maybe not this one. You can use a split screen and doing it with the same with the same document. Or you can, uh, for example, split it with along with another document. But when you split the same document, you want to change both pages every tap, no? Yeah. And you have that functionality also? For example, for the note scores, you want to have two pages of the notes of the score. So it's just showing the page one and two. Right now it seems to have two times the same document. So you're changing this one and that one, but you can probably bind them, right? Yeah, I'm checking how to yeah. do it. Interesting product. I don't remember okay, cool. now. Yeah, no problem. The, the, pia the pianists and the musicians will find a setting.
Yeah, there's okay. a way. There's yeah, a way. there's a way. All right. And finally, you can also split screen with your notes on the side. The good thing is when you take your notes, when you are writing a specific book and you're taking notes on the side, <laughs> and then you say that then when you go to notes, you have the normal notes and then you have the side notes here. Well, this is just a little Which side note. You need to, you need to block. Now, and you will get the notes you take. Nice. The, here you have the navigation ball, which is a very uh, useful um, feature because you have direct access to different uh, functions like going back, volume control, multitask management. You can manage the different apps. But you can just close all of them. Now let's go back. You can turn it off. And the, the, the good thing is that you can change those features of the navigation ball through, through its app. You can choose, okay, what thing is what. Let's change this one for a screenshot. So now we go here and we do a screenshot. Mm. Saved in storage features screenshot. So then you can go to the storage, storage, features. Screenshots and find the screenshot you take, and then of course take notes on the same. And later on, to share, share BBT. Let me find it. Share it on WhatsApp. Cool. You can also share uh, over the Wi-Fi or over Bluetooth, maybe to your phone. No, Bluetooth. Uh, Bluetooth still is just for connecting with Bluetooth uh, accessories such as the keyboard, such as the the mouse, etc. Headset very important to listen. You can listen to your music inside of the device through a, a Bluetooth headset or text to speech or podcasts, etc. Uh, and also uh, regarding data transfer, it can receive data from another device uh, as a sender, such as, for example, a laptop can send the, the data to the device, but the device is not a sender, cannot send it. Nice. And uh, Wi-Fi, yeah, you have the Wi-Fi transfer, which as, as far as it's connected to the same network, you can transfer the data. And I guess you can install the Kindle app, for example. Yes. And as far as I remember, they have a really amazing feature where you have the e-books, but at the same time, you can get the audiobooks while you're reading. Maybe that might be one of the functions in the, in the Kindle also. It depends on the app, right? So if the app supports audiobooks, you could be reading, and at the same time, on your Bluetooth headphones, you have account? listening to... Yeah, I'll give you the password. One, two, three, four. <laughs> yeah. All right, and then you can uh, get your audiobooks if you want. Yeah, of course. I mean, you can buy, you can buy it and read it, or download it and read in your in your device reader. And then, of course, you can listen to music if you want. And probably the best way to learn Chinese is to read the Chinese ebooks while you get the audiobook. So basically, you're learning the Chinese. Yeah, but it's not that easy to learn Chinese, even in that you way. You tried before. I try. I'm trying to learn Chinese already. And, uh, you can say a few things, probably. Huh? You can say a bunch of things. What do you want me to say? That this is a cool place. This is a chanping, very chang pang, very chang heng hao. And it's really cool. You have to buy it now. This is a very chang pang. The the chanping, you must buy it now. Okay. 